everybody. Happy Saturday. For some of you, this might be your Saturday afternoon, your Saturday evening. For some of you that are on the East Coast, this is Saturday morning. I'm coming to you live from Ormond Beach, Florida. And today we're going to just move through a nice, gentle yoga practice. So if you're going to be joining me, roll out your mat, take it at your own pace just enjoy let's get comfortable rounding into our sit bones and just close your eyes relax your shoulders let's take five breaths inhale through both nostrils and take that first exhale as a sigh breath out the mouth inhale and now taking that exhale through both nostrils I'm just blinking the eyes a few times. Let's bring hands into prayer in front of the heart space. Gently extend those arms up to the sky. If you can, interlace your fingers, turning your palms up high. Relax the shoulders and as you exhale, just take a slow side body stretch. Stretching out the rib cage, the space between hip bone and rib cage. Do one more to either side. Really using your exhale to deepen into that side stretch. Taking it as far over as you're comfortable. Inhale, release, and exhale. Let's take the hands to the base of your spine. Interlace, squeezing shoulder blades together. And then we're gonna slowly just rotate the chin up high. And bring the chin to chest. And one more, inhale. And exhale. And release hands to the knees. Just take a full circle with your head. Be mindful of the back of the neck. Let's change direction. And coming back to center, bringing your feet into butterfly. Checking in again with your sit bones, making sure they're nice and grounded, earthed into your mat. Taking hands to your ankles or interlace your fingers under your toes and pull up nice and tall. And exhale, fold. Maybe try to allow that forward fold to come from the base of your spine and not in the shoulders. So try to keep that length in your spine and then just find that sweet spot, find that space as far as you're comfortable. Wherever that is for you, you're going to then melt your forehead down. On an inhale, softly tuck the chin to chest and just roll the body all the way up. Beautiful. Let's extend the legs out long. Going to give them a little shake out. And just flex into both feet. Inhale, sweep the arms. Exhale, fold. And again, just noticing the spine, allowing that exhale to take you deeper into your fold. Relax the forehead all the way. Inhale, tuck the chin, slowly up, big step. And exhale, release. Bring that right knee and tuck the knee into the chest. We're going to work into a twist. You can take this left arm either wrapping it around and really hug the right knee into the body or if you're comfortable tucking your elbow that's just another variation depending where you're at at this time take your right hand to the base of your spine lengthen up nice and tall and then exhale take the chin to the back shoulder two more breaths Shake 
about. Let's bring that left knee into the body. Take that right arm, wrap it around or tuck the elbow if you like. Left hand comes to the base of your spine, lengthen up tall and then slowly start to twist, taking your gaze towards the back. Beautiful detox. Really just go as far as you're comfortable. On an exhale, coming back to center, extend, shake it out. One more full fold. Flex into the feet, inhale, reach it up. Exhale, forward fold. Come onto a flat back tabletop, hands and knees, spreading fingers, pressing into the palms. And you can either tuck the toes here if that's more comfortable for you, or keep the toes untucked, whichever you like. Having that comfortable space between the knees. As we move through a sequence of four of cat and cow, let's inhale, take the chin up, arch the spine. Exhale, round, tuck the chin, pull the belly in. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And one more. Inhale. Inhale, extend right leg out. Let's try to flex into that right foot, pulling the belly into the spine. And extend your left arm out, keeping your eyes at your mat. Really feel that energy from the fingertips to the big toe. And exhale, release. Inhale, left leg extends. Flex into that foot, pull the belly in. Reach that right arm out, keeping eyes at the mat. And exhale, release. Inhale, tuck your toes. Exhale, lifting up, downward facing dog. And our first downward dog, we're just gonna make sure the head is relaxed, no stress on the back of the neck. And slowly, if your hamstrings are a little tight, Pressing one heel back into the mat at a time. Let's inhale, step that right foot through. Left knee's gonna come to the mat, untuck your toes. Make sure you're comfortable with your grounding first. And then inhale, let's reach the arms all the way up. And you can have space between the palms or bring the palms to touch if you like. Two more breaths. On an exhale, release hands to the mat. Pressing left palm down, inhale, reach the right arm up to the sky. And if you can, take your gaze up towards that thumb. If you're looking for something more here, just tuck your toes. You can always lift up into that runner's lunge. If that's too much for you, keep the knee to the mat. And exhale, release. Inhale, straighten into that right leg. You can roll onto the heel here or keep the foot flat. And on an exhale, softening your forehead down towards the knee or shin bone. Inhale, slowly up. Tuck the toes, find your plank pose. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot steps through, right knee to the mat, untuck the toes. And 
reach the arms up nice and high. Other space between the palms or palms to touch. Exhale, release to the mat. Pressing right palm down. Inhale, left arm reaches up to the sky. And if you can, take your gaze up towards that thumb. Again, here you can always take that runner's lunge if you're looking for something more. Or keep the knee to the mat. Exhale, release. Inhale, straightening into that left leg. You can always roll onto the heel. And use your exhale to soften that forehead down towards the knee or shin bone. Inhale, slowly up. Tuck your toes, find your plank pose. And exhale, downward facing dog. On an inhale, right foot steps through, left knee to the mat, untuck the toes. And let's bring the hands up into prayer in front of the heart space. On your next exhale, opening up the arms as you would in a warrior two. So we're twisting towards that right leg. Palms facing down towards the earth. Drop the shoulders. Inhale, bring hands back to heart center. Now you have two options. You can keep palms to touching and twist, keeping your hands in prayer. Or try to bring this left elbow and tuck it over the right knee. Pressing those palms together. Hold for two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Tuck the toes. Inhale to plank. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step that left foot through, right knee to the mat, untuck the toes. Bringing hands up into prayer in front of the heart space. On an exhale, let's open up. Warrior two arms twisting towards that left side. Drop your shoulders. Inhale. And exhale, choosing your variation of the twist. Pressing the palms together. Our left foot is grounded, left leg is straight. Right foot has a raise in the arch to protect the knee. And the gaze is over your right middle finger. What tends to happen when we're concentrating is the shoulders start to creep up. So trying to relax the shoulders and have strength in your arms, fingertips to fingertips. Let's inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. If you're looking for a deep stretch into your pose, you can always take a bind, taking that left arm behind your back and wrap it through. And if that's not where you're at today, just keeping it in that side angle. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, take the hands to the mat. Inhale to plank. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg extends. Bend into the knee, open up the hip. Inhale, left leg extends. And step it all the way through, warrior two. Checking in with that right foot grounded. Right foot is straight. Left foot has a raise in the arch. Then taking the gaze over that left front finger. Inhale, reverse. Side angle. You could choose to take a bind here. Really feel that energy from your ankle all the way to the fingertips. Inhale, warrior two. And exhale, take the hands to the mat. Inhale to plank. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step that right foot through, warrior two. Taking gaze over the front middle fingers. We're gonna prepare for a triangle pose. Let's bring that back foot in just slightly. Straighten into the right leg and shift the weight. And moving into your triangle pose. Perhaps this right hand's coming to the inside of your right leg, or if you're flexible, it'll go all the way to the mat. You can always use a block here as well. When you're ready, taking a bend into that right leg, coming back up, warrior two, and exhale, take the hands to the mat. Inhale to plank. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot steps through, warrior two. Preparing for triangle pose, bringing that back foot in, just slightly straighten into the left leg, shift the weight. Triangle pose. On our next inhale, taking a bend into left leg, warrior two. And exhale, take the hands to the mat. Inhale to plank. And exhale, downward facing dog. Let's inhale, step both feet to the front of your mat. And exhale, fold. Nice ragdoll fold. So again, if your hamstrings are tight here, just take a little bend into the knees. And you can always grab hold of your elbows. Take a little rock side to side. You can have your fold as active or as inactive as you need. You can take hands behind the calf muscles and hug it in. It's really good to send fresh blood to the face, remove any stress we might be carrying in our backs. And we're going to roll to standing, allowing your head to come up last. Let's tuck the chin, gently roll the body all the way up. Roll the shoulders and just shake it out. We take a wide legged fold. So we're going to step the full length of our mats. Be mindful of your knees here. Not doing anything if it doesn't feel comfortable for you today. 
and then using your next exhale to take the fingertips down towards the ankles we're aiming to get the tip of the head the crown down towards the mat I'm going to hold here for three breaths On an inhale, walking fingertips over to the right ankle. And then use an exhale to soften your forehead in towards the knee or shin bone. On an inhale, walking fingertips over to that left side. And exhale, soften the forehead in towards the knee or shin bone. Coming back to center, we're going to come out of this through a goddess pose. So let's adjust our feet, heels in, toes out. Tuck the tailbone, nice long spine. Coming up into goddess pose. And slowly start to come up, adjust your feet, stepping the feet together gently, shake it out. Come back and find us seated on the mat comfortably. Let's bring the feet back into butterfly. It's rocking a little bit side to side, rounding into the sit bones, bringing hands to the ankles or interlace fingers underneath your toes. Inhale, lengthen up nice and tall. Exhale, fold. Inhale, tuck the chin, slowly roll the body all the way up. And let's take the legs wide, only as wide as you feel comfortable. And inhale, extend that right arm up and over. bringing your legs into cross-legged however you're most comfortable on your mat let's bring hands into prayer in front of the heart space deepest breath in through both nostrils big sigh breath out the mouth and just closing your eyes for a moment here just noticing the energy shift just as a result of breathing moving your body having gratitude for taking time out today for some self-care some self-love on your mat As you shift the energy for yourself you shift that energy for others open the eyes bringing thumbs to the forehead may we be reminded to always have mindful thoughts thumbs to the mouth mindful words and thumbs to the heart space mindful actions of love and of kindness have a beautiful weekend, everybody. Namaste.